What's up, fans? Our partners here at Bet Online continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest odds, news, sports developments, including this year's NBA Finals, NHL Hockey Conference Finals, Major League Baseball, and the latest fighting news, even next season's early NFL futures. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today to receive your 50% Welcome bonus on your first deposit. Use our promo code BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V, to get the bonus and get into the action. Bet online where the game starts. Not only does Bet Online sponsor the Boss Man Show, they'll sponsor you too. Get Bet, bet Online today because the Boss Man said so. Man show here with the AD of the Alabama State Hornets right down the road from I 85 in Gump Town, Montgomery. That's in Cable, been there almost a year. What's up, AD Cable? How, how you doing, man? Man, I'm doing I'm doing well, man. It's it's hot on this end of I 85. I tell you that. 100 percent We hard next speaking them. I saw some hundreds next week, brother. <laughs> I'm like, wow. <laughs> hey, climate change is real, man. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, man, let me ask you, man. Um you took over his job last year, man. So talk about your vision for your programs and bringing in coaches like Coach Matt Lott, Coach Robinson here, man, to really push the Alabama State brand even more. Yeah, we've been very successful over the recent years in, um, in all of our sports, uh, but particularly um, sports outside of uh, football uh, and, and men's basketball have, have really been thriving and had an opportunity to come in this year. And, um, you know, you very rarely uh, get get opportunity to take a job within the first year. I mean, hire two coaches. Um, I think that we've done a, a, our due diligence on, on both of them. Eddie Robinson is, uh, you know, our head football coach, uh, played here, um, and then obviously played a number of years in the NFL. And so his passion and understanding of the institution is a, a ability to be able to articulate, you know, what Alabama State means, right, um, as a player and as a, a student athlete. Um, I think speaks volumes in terms of what he has been able to do on the recruiting trail. And so I think we saw an immediate impact there uh, with football. And then Coach Madlock coming from uh, South Carolina State, 25 years um, as one of the top recruiters, particularly in the region that Alabama State sits in. Um, and then his recent success at South Carolina State, I think will definitely transfer here uh, to Alabama State. And uh, both of the coaches are very personable. Uh, the community, community uh, embraces them. Um, and so um, our, our tagline is Swarm is One. And so we use that uh, to galvanize the alumni base, um, to create um, a university atmosphere, and we're full steam ahead. And Jace, talk about that, brother, getting the get community, community, getting people to raise money to give you all money, help you all get your facilities to even improve even more, uh, give your student athletes more for as you know, snacks and that nature. Because as you, you and I both know, at the SWAC level, HBC level, the money is not as what it could be as it would be at an Auburn or Alabama, also being a state HBCU school too as well, also fun is the issue with, as, as well. So give me the community, give people to get behind you all, and give you all their disposable income to help your program grow even further. It's going to be very, very important for you and your coaches. Yeah, I think it's getting down and getting in front of, you know, and it's a process. And so we have to educate our alumni base and our supporters on what's needed for us to get to the next level. And so we're in a space now where he or she that pays the most wins the most. I mean, that's just a bottom line fact. Obviously, you do have to have a strong uh, program of founding upon uh, integrity and character, but you got to have uh, support for those programs uh, to get to that championship level. And so we're there in a number of our sports. 
uh, but to continue to climb, we've got to have those resources. Like you mentioned, nutrition is a, is a big thing in terms of our facilities. We have great facilities, but it's time to upgrade um, some, some of our facilities, right? The opportunity uh, that we have with um, NIL, obviously that sits outside the institution, but being able to um, educate individuals on how we can utilize that to, to uh, benefit our student athletes, um, as well as the academic incentives. You know, that's, a, that's another caveat um, that came from the, the NCAA versus Austin case uh, that we can utilize to reward our student athletes uh, for athletic achievement. Af I'm sorry, academic achievement. No doubt. Like you said, NIL and Austin awards are something that's really going to change the game and help swat schools like yourself out because, you know, any extra little benefit helps you. As you, are, you, are, you and me both know, I may see you, see you grandma. I would tell stay up the road from you guys. TSU up the road. The real, the real TSU something. Forget y'all. The real TSU. But but yeah. You might be a little biased. You, you might be a little biased though. You said the real TSU, right? Yes, I am. Let it go, sunshine. You already know. But uh, you know, man. You know, I feel like it's gonna help young men. I remember when I was there, what I had to deal with. And I feel like now we're giving everybody you give feed guys, keep them in shape that way. You know, have facilities. Wait, wait, they want to stay in Montgomery. Stay around the campus and grow as a young man with the coaches involved and be better and great bring that community for life. Right. Right. Absolutely. And so that, that's what that's what we're in the process of doing. Um, like I said, we we've been successful, but it's just it's getting to that next level. You know, we are eager and our alumni base is eager um, to have some uh, success in football. Uh, we've been solid over the years. We haven't been bad, uh, but in terms of getting to the championship level. Um, that's where we are. Uh, we're charting that path right now. And it takes resources. No doubt. Let me ask you this now. Has there been pressure put on like Alabama, South Alabama and Auburn to play you all? Because I feel like they would play you all more often and help get some of the money they get to help help you all fund things. Because I feel like they should just pay for it that way. But then the big schools in the state, they should play you all and help you all out as well and give you all the exposures for your bands and your football team and, and basketball teams and other teams as well, baseball as well. Yeah, I think historically we've done a good job scheduling uh, Auburn. You no, know, we played them a, a couple of times in, in, in recent years, and it's a, it's a, um, I think it's an opportunity to keep the money in state as it relates to guarantee. Um, but you know, I, th I think we have the opportunity to generate uh, money in terms of we have a, a wonderful facility on campus, uh, bringing some big games on campus. Uh, you wouldn't get the same amount, um, you know, possibly. Uh, going to play at Auburn, driving up and coming back, but we probably can get pretty pretty close to it, you know. So, will we take an in-state game? Um, it just depends on the dollar amount, right? But I think there's an opportunity to increase our revenue uh, without necessarily having to play um, those larger programs in the state. I hear that. You know what, Jason? Also, thing cool about the swag is from one through twelve is getting better all, all the way around. You know. More teams are putting more money into their, you know, football, basketball, non-revenue sports as well, because I feel like, hey, we need to step our games about And you sent across the league, you was at Swag Office for a while. So you've seen right. the improvement over the years of how the conference has gotten better year by year by year. And I feel like it's left on because it's just not, it's not like one hour, oh, it's just Swag. No, it's a Swag is, is doing some big things down there. Folks are taking the notes of it right now. Oh, absolutely. And when you talk about one through 12, uh, we sit in the East. And so um, you're talking about really having three rival games right now you know you got Alabama A&M top rival uh fam you people don't know we used to play them in the Turkey Day Classic prior to playing the Tus Tuskegee and so there's there's a rivalry there and then obviously Jackson State um is, is going to be exciting in contest we have fam you and Jackson on campus and A&M and Birmingham for the Magic, Magic City Classic so uh that that, that kind of um reiterates my point in terms of when you get fam you and Jackson State on campus right you're able to generate revenue and so, whereas in recent, you know, past years, we didn't have FAMU in the conference. So we didn't have that opportunity to generate that revenue at home. And so that adds to um, our revenue stream as it relates to ticket sales, ticket sales, and even overall experience on campus. No doubt. And your location is great. You know, you can get to my grimmage from Nashville, Atlanta, Memphis. It's very accessible via the highway system in Birmingham as well. So talk about your location, how it's good for people listening here in Atlanta who want to come, come check your campus out, come down and play, have their kids come to Alabama State because I feel like it's a great school to go to. I love the town of Montgomery. It definitely reminds me of being here in Atlanta at home too. A little small Atlanta, so I love it for that as well. So talk about that piece of your universe as well, Jason. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah, fantastic. And if you, if you can't come through Montgomery without seeing our stadium. <laughs> and so if you're on, you mentioned I-85, if you come um, from Atlanta, 
and you're passing through uh, Montgomery, you have to see um, ASU Stadium. And so it's great visibility, great campus, great student athlete experience, great student experience, great administration. I mean, why not come to Alabama State? No doubt. And for you in your past year, man, what would you say is your biggest accomplishment in your past year other than hiring these coaches you've hired so far? I think engaging um, with our former student athletes, engaging with our alumni base and engaging with our community. I think that that is going to bode well for, for years to come and building those relationships. So in the first year, it's all about listening and understanding the culture and trying to and trying to, to push a vision that aligns with the institutional vision and also some of the things that, um, that, that are happening that are already good, right? You either want to build upon uh, or make them better. And so this, this has really been a learning process, but I think the biggest impact is really getting out in the community, uh, connecting with the alumni base, learning the culture of the, of the university. And when you have a better idea, now we can move forward with initiatives to, to push it forward. And if for you, uh, being a former coach, Jason, how, how does it help you with talking to your own coaches that you have on the, underneath you, knowing you've been in your shoes, your shoes before? Yeah, it, it's a it's a great um, it, it's a great relationship because I really understand you know where they are and what they need and what they don't need, right? But um, just having that experience and, and being a competitor, you know, all of our coaches are uh, atypical or a type individuals and being able to handle that and understand that, you know, it's not personal, you know, they just want to win and they want the best for their program. And if they're not pushing the, the, the envelope, we're not going to be successful. So I'm comfortable in that space. And so we can have some very spirited conversations, right. And then walk away from the table and understand it's all about winning. No doubt. That's one for you, Jason, for my people in Atlanta and around the South listening to this show, what's your favorite spot to eat down in Montgomery, man? There's so many, man, but right now I've been on uh, Martha's Cafe, Davis Cafe. You know, you got to get your soul food, man. No doubt. No doubt, folks. You heard it from Jason Cable himself, where to come to, because you got to go through, pass by the ASU Stadium to go down to through Montgomery. You got to pass by. And yeah, you are so correct, because you sure do. It's right there. So you can't miss it. So stop by and see those guys over at Alabama State. Jason, if we get time, my brother, do this again real soon. I hope to see you at the press conference up here later this month and at the game in Atlanta coming up here. So I look forward to seeing you, brother. You'll, you'll see me in Atlanta. You know, we had a Swarm as One tour. Uh, charting through Atlanta on the same day as the uh, Swag Me at, uh, uh conference. Uh, what is it? The Swag Me at the Swag Me at challenge. Conference. Swag Me at challenge uh, <laughs> press conference. Yes, Kinda got time. To yeah, but we, Swimmers One Two is coming to Atlanta. It's an opportunity for our alumni base, our supporters, to meet and engage, engage with our coaching staff, and so and talk about some of the great things happening in Alabama State as well. I'll be there, brother. And I, I, I told CK, you might need some, some gear to wear when I'm there, brother. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, once you put that black and gold on, man, it's going to be hard to put the TSU back on, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, I like black and gold. I do like the colors because, you know, I, I'm friends of the alphas. But, uh, you know, I, I chose me, find me for, for a reason. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Hey, thanks so much, brother. It was fun, man. Do this again real soon, my guy. Okay, see you. No doubt. What's up, fans? Our partners here at Bet Online continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest odds, news, sports developments, including this year's NBA Finals, NHL Hockey Conference Finals, Major League Baseball, and the latest fighting news, even next season's early NFL futures. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today to receive your 50% Welcome bonus on your first deposit. Use our promo code BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V, to get the bonus and get into the action. Bet online where the game starts. Not only does Bet Online sponsor the Boss Man Show, they'll sponsor you too. Get Bet Online today because the Boss Man said so. <laughs> 